All right, we're going to talk about prioritization. Now, as a nurse, it's all about priorities. Prioritization is one of the critical functions and critical things that we do as a nurse. When we're taking care of multiple patients and we have multiple tasks to do for each patient, it's important that we know how to prioritize that care. So what is prioritization? It's an action based on order of importance or urgency. And it can affect a patient, multiple patients, or even an organization as a whole, not just a single patient, but we may have to be prioritizing between many different groups of patients. And it's part of the nursing process. It helps us to identify which situation should be addressed first. So prioritization in nursing addresses levels of urgency. We have emergent situations, we have urgent situations, and we have not emergent situations. All right, so what does that all mean? Emergent situations must be done and must be dealt with right now. Like, you better be doing something about it right now. These things are like ABCs. And an example of this might be like a patient who's hypotensive, they have a weak thready pulse, and their consciousness is declining. We need to do something right now with that patient. For urgent situations, these are things that must be dealt with soon. If we have an emergent situation, we deal with that first, then we can deal with our urgent situation. These are time sensitive things, things like meds, labs, dressing changes. Now, if a patient's in pain and they need pain medication, we need to deal with that. It's not emergent, but it's urgent. We need to deal with it soon. Then we have not emergent situations. These can be done later or they can be done last. After we've dealt with our emergent situations, dealt with our urgent situations, then we can deal with our not emergent uh, situations and things. This would be things like daily bed sheet change, um, so changing linens, baths, things like that. We don't have to do them right now. We don't need to do them soon, but they need to be done. Now, if we plug this in with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we can really start caring for our patients in the appropriate level of priority. Now, when we're talking about prioritization, it's important we consider interdisciplinary communication because this is where all the different functions in the hospital are going to have to really start working together. So, for example, if we have a hypotensive patient, that's something that we must be in there dealing with right now. So PT is going to need to come and ambulate another patient we're taking care of so that we can stay with our hypotensive patient uh, during this hypotensive uh, uh, situation. Now, it's important when we're dealing with different disciplines that we be cordial. Critical situations can become very, very stressful. So we got to be careful that we're watching our tone. We're watching our body language. Um, we never know who's listening. We don't know if a patient's listening. We don't know uh, who the other person is. So we got to be very careful. It's also important to realize that we're building rapport between different providers. Don't be rude. There's no need for that in the hospital. There's no need for that even in these stressful situations. Hospitals are very small places and reputations spread. Just be cool, work with everybody else, and be cordial in these situations. Even when it's stressful, you can be uh, respectful to other people. Make sure that you're following HIPAA. We got to be sure that we're only disclosing minimal information and necessary information. Critical situations can force you to disclose information at bedside and sometimes with other patients. So be succinct, be articulate, and make sure that your answers don't share any uh, personal health information with other patients. So be very careful of that um, in these uh, situations. Now, delegate when necessary. You can have other available nurses or techs perform tasks that allow you to address more important or higher priority situations first. And that's the purpose of a healthcare team. Now, some things to keep in mind when considering nursing prioritization, consider Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We talk about this a lot, but consider Maslow's hierarchy of needs as you're doing this. When you're caring for multiple patients, consider what patient needs need to be dealt with first, and then also what patients need to be dealt with first. Do you need to take care of a certain specific need of an individual patient, or do you need to be taking care of a different patient before you address all your other patients? Really think about ABCs to help guide you here. Now consider your time. You got to be very efficient as a nurse. 
One thing that you can do is something called cluster care. With cluster care, you plan to take care of more than one task at a time when you enter a patient's room. Make sure that you're not going in, doing one thing, leaving, then having to come back to do another thing. If you can do the, the bath, the, the bed sheet change, the meds, uh, and uh, different care all at one time, make sure you're doing that. That's helping to keep your time free for if different emergent situations arise. Take care of your stat orders and your stat labs. Follow institutional policies on stat orders and stat labs to make sure you're doing them according to your, your healthcare uh, facility. Recognize the impact that these orders and labs have on your patient as well. For example, if you get a hemoglobin um, value come back from the lab and one patient has a 6.8 um, and another patient has a 3.8, both of those are critical labs, but your patient who has the 3.8 is far more urgent and far more emergent than your patient has a 6.8. So make sure that you're dealing with those values and those labs uh, as you need to and dealing with the more important ones, the more urgent ones uh, first. Now, prioritization is a fluid process, okay? So keep this in mind, you must be adaptable. Your priorities for your patients, for yourself, and for your shift are going to change at a moment's notice. So make sure that you're always evaluating what your priorities are at any given moment. All right, what are some nursing concepts to think about with prioritization? First of all, the one to think about is prioritization. And the next one is clinical judgment. Make sure you're using clinical judgment on the floor um, to care for your patients, to plan your shift, uh, and to prioritize care. So what are some key points with prioritization? Let's just recap real quick. You gotta evaluate the urgency of situations. Is it emergent, something that must be done right now? Is it urgent, something that must be done soon? Or is it not emergent, something that can be done later? Consider Maslow's hierarchy of needs with this. Think about a patient's level of needs and then compare those to other patients and other needs of that patient. What's the most uh, emergent thing that you need to deal with right now? Then remember to cluster care. This helps in prioritizing care of multiple patients and it helps you kind of keep your time uh, in order and help you get things done quickly so that you are freed up if other emergent situations arise. Be cordial. Realize that hospitals can be stressful places, but don't let stressful situations detract from your professionalism. So just be cool, delegate when appropriate, um, and realize that hospitals are small places. It's important to remain professional. Then follow HIPAA. HIPAA is a law. Sometimes situations prevent us from leaving the bedside, so make sure you're always following HIPAA. It is the law. All right, guys, make sure you check out all the other resources with this lesson. Um, and make sure you uh, review those and, and check those out. All right, make sure you review all the other resources attached to this lesson. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing.